Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Data in San Jose. I'm here with Ian Swanson from datascience.com. Yep. Ian, how are you doing? Great, thanks for having me, Mike. So you're the founder yep, and right. CEO. Founder, CEO, datascience.com. And what is the main thing that you guys do? Yeah. So datascience.com has been around for four years, and what we do is we provide an enterprise data science platform. Um, what that means is data scientists need to work with many tools in many languages, uh, leveraging a lot of open source libraries. And so we provide a platform that pulls that all together. And it also backs it up with the workflows and the infrastructure that's needed to get work into production and drive real results from a data science team. And so what sorts of companies do you work with the most, or industries? I mean, Yeah, so we've seen um, quite a change even in the last four years of being around, meaning um, we primarily used to work in technology groups within large companies. But data science now is for every industry. Business, yeah. I mean, every industry, whether it's in manufacturing, to biotech, large technology companies, to retail, everyone's invested in data science. And data science also is for every part of the org. So there's data science use cases in the finance department, in HR, in tech, even in sales enablement. So you know, to answer that question, every industry, and there are so many different use cases. Well, so in every industry, it seems like it's under some sort of transformation, digital That's transformation. Right. So what is the role that data science has with that transformation? Yep. So first, let's start with, um, you, you mentioned a key, key term there that we're hearing a lot, digital transformation. So on the desk of every CEO, at every large enterprise, is this mandate of digital transformation. So what is that? It's how do large companies exploit all the data they have to one, increase revenue or reduce operation costs. And this could be with new business models, it could be just improving existing processes you know, in the company, but it's how do we actually use this data that we've been collecting? And that's part of digital transformation. And the role of data science there is, data scientists are the engineers, essentially, of this digital transformation. So they have a seat at the table now with the CEO, um, and it's really about how do we leverage all these assets that we have? And data science is, is the capability that helps push that forward. So when, when I look at transformation, I see, I see a phenomenon where there's disruptors. Yep. Small startups that are going to try to take over an industry. Uber did that years ago. Yep. And there are large incumbents that are trying to stay ahead of the disruptors. Yeah. Data science helps both of them. Co correct. And I, I think you hit on a good point there, and that is uh, large companies will die unless they transform. On the side, unless they leverage their assets. And there are great quotes out there of business leaders ranging from uh, Cisco to Oracle that are up on stage saying, you have to leverage AI, you have to leverage machine learning in order to compete. And in order to compete against the up and coming companies, but also against you know, the core large enterprise competition. So do we really know what AI and ML can bring to a transformation right now? Because is, yeah. aren't, they're, they're sexy terms right now, and everyone's talking about them, but is anyone really making a difference with them yet? Um, I, I think there are examples of companies that are, but to, to back up there, um, the CEO of Google just recently was quoted saying, AI is as important to us as a society as yeah, yeah. fire yeah. and electricity. I mean, that's yeah, a yeah. bold statement. Yeah. Um, and, and my view on that is, you know, it's bold, but it's also saying this is an exciting time. This is an exciting time to be in the field of data science, which encompasses AI, machine learning, and deep learning. Now, in terms of companies realizing the full potential, I think we're still scratching the surface of that. Tip I, of the iceberg. Yeah, just tip of, the, tip of the iceberg on that to where that's why the Google CEO and others are saying, this is awesome. This is going to transform business. And by the way, you better get on the train, otherwise it's going to leave you. Okay, I remember that same conversation in 1986 or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'm dating myself uh, a bit. I get it. But is it really going to work this time? I mean, because it has the notion has been around for quite a while. Yeah. Have we come to a point where the data systems we now have can make AI and machine learning real, and expert systems and neural nets yep. and all that, those things that have been around for a long time, but they've never really come to fruition? Short answer is yes. Um, so what are the building blocks for success here? Um, building blocks start with data. Um, and we've been through you know, partnership at O'Reilly and conferences like this, um, we've built out that data story, not just our company, but many others around where do we store data, how do we get access to the data. The next step is a data science platform. What are the tools to be able to extract value from that? And then if you go down, it's like, how do we deploy this stuff in production? And so model deployment as an example. So business can drive outcomes through these models. The stack exists now. If you went back four years ago, yeah, it didn't, didn't exist. exist right? 
Um, and even if you went back 10 years ago, the data story was still starting to kind of begin around what's a data lake, you know, how do we you know, leverage the data, and now we have the complete picture. So our customers, we work with many Fortune 500 companies, big technology companies, big biotech, financial service companies, they are putting models in production that are going through digital transformation, reducing operation costs, and increasing revenue. The results are amazing. So if you looked forward 12 months from now, what yeah. would you say data science, AI, machine learning, all the technologies that accompany data science, mm -hmm. what's the biggest impact they can have on the planet? Yeah. Well, on the, on the planet, it's a pretty, pretty big <laughs> <But> It's <laughs> a planet, for. we're a planet, right? Yes, yeah. um, I, I think right now, um, what we're seeing is this, this massive rise of open source, this massive rise of technology in the field of artificial intelligence, ML, and deep learning. A platform like ours helps the company to actually be able to harness all those open source technologies and get value from them. So whether you're a large bank, whether you're a nonprofit, you now have the ability to go and leverage these thousands and thousands of open source technologies, which by the way is growing faster than proprietary technology, and then get it to a place where we can actually generate results. And so in terms of the, the benefit for society or for our planet on that side, um, you know, there's, there's many companies that can work on what are those actual results, but the technology is there, the technology can be used, it can be used in a way that can go into production, it can scale, and it can drive real value. That's a reality right now. So why are people still developing proprietary software? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question for some of the other people here at this event. <laughs> okay, so if we sat down 12 months from now, yeah. and we have a conversation, and I ask you, what has changed in the last 12 months with datascience.com? Yep. What do you want to say? Yeah, so datascience.com, um, th the first thing is we're going to be growing. You know, we're growing fast anyways. Uh, like I said, we've been around for four years. We have uh, big logos, big companies that we work with. But I would say 12 months from now, um, we're going to be much more of a brand name you know, that's going to be recognized with the leaders of tech you know, in this space. Um, and, and for us, it's going to be not just recognize our name, but recognize the value that we're driving. And the value is something that a lot of other companies cannot claim. And that is, you're storing data, you're getting access to data, you're visualizing data, but now you actually want to put data to action. That's what we're here to help them do, and that's what we're able to achieve. Excellent. Ian, we look forward to that conversation. Thank, Thank you, you so much.